gives you advice, yeah. On how to leave your life. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's for dinner. It's going to include four meals. Two of them are mine, and then two of them are HelloFresh meals, just because I couldn't think of anything I particularly wanted these weeks with the nausea and all of that happening. So I just ordered so I knew that we had some type of meal. And I did pay with it, pay for it with my own money, so it's not sponsored or anything. But this meal is going to be basically some very large enchiladas, which are more like burritos, but I use enchilada sauce, so yeah. This is some ground beef that I froze, and then I'm just adding some onions, refried beans, some green chilies, and some taco seasoning, and mixing that all together. enjoy this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you miss any of my other what's for dinners i have a playlist and i do these like every month so after everything was all mixed together and kind of cooked together for a little bit it was time to make them i did make some yellow rice as a side in my instant pot but i just went ahead and filled these i put some enchilada sauce down filled the uh, tortillas with some meat and some cheese folded them up as nicely as i could Put them all in there and then topped it with more enchilada sauce and cheese and we really enjoyed this meal we thought it was good everything turned out to look like it was very yummy and cheesy so these next few meals are going to be by hellofresh but you can obviously just do your own version of these if you want which we ended up doing because i burnt the, to the tostadas shells so we just ended up using like soft shells that I didn't cook. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you everything that came in the bag. So to start off with, I'm just cutting up all of the veggies, the onion, the tomato, and the serrano pepper, or whatever that type of pepper is. I'm gonna 
I really appreciate just having meals that I didn't have to plan out because honestly, if I think about food, it becomes something that I don't want automatically. So just having these in there and just making them was just a nice little difference. So this came with a ground pork, but if I was doing this by myself, I would have just used, you know, ground beef because that's what we usually use. I've never really done anything with ground pork. So after adding the pork, I added some of their little seasoning packets and then the veggies and everything and mixed that together until they were cooked and softened. So after I added all their little sauces and everything, you could probably just add anything, just regular taco seasoning or any kind of Mexican style stuff that you like. But yeah, I added all of the stuff it came with um, and then they had you make like this little kind of salsa for the side, which is just the tomatoes, the onion and some lime juice. Of course, you have to add your own salt and pepper. So 
And then in this bowl, they just had a, like a little sour cream and I used the rest of the lime and mixed that together. And then these were supposed to be on the tostada shells, but like I said, I burned the ones that it came with, even though I did it for like the amount of time that it said. But we did have some shop shell on hand, so we just ended up putting that in there. It was really, really nice just having the fresh ingredients on top of the meat and all of that, but I would have preferred just having ground beef instead of ground pork. So again, just showing you everything that came in the bag. So I started off by peeling and chopping up the carrots. After chopping up all the carrots, I went ahead and chopped up some of the red onion. So these veggies were gonna be roasted in the oven, so I just went ahead and put them on a sheet pan along with some oil. I'm just cutting up these little potatoes. It said you could take the skin off, but I just left it on for the purpose of it being easier. So I just chopped those up because we were going to mash them.
Next, I am just going ahead and cooking the pork that it came with. And I have my water boiling next to me for the potatoes and I'm adding some salt and pepper. So after the pork was cooked, you're supposed to make your little glaze, which included some red onion and then some of the rosemary. I'm not a huge rosemary person, so I didn't add like a bunch of it into it. So we had some left over for something else. So then I'm just adding the little glaze packet that it came with and I let it boil for a while and then get a little bit thicker so that way it could go on the pork. So this is definitely not something I would have come up with on my own. And again, just nothing really sounded too fantastic. So I just added some butter and then I go ahead and mash the potatoes that are next to this pot or this pan. Is what everything ended up looking like we really actually enjoyed the veggies they were so simple but super yummy and everything was great okay now this meal is just extremely easy it's something i knew that i wanted so i'm just taking some frozen ravioli and cooking those I tried this pasta sauce for the first time and it was actually really good. We liked the garden one, but we hadn't tried this one yet, but we enjoyed it. I just added some of that to a bottom of a pan and put the ravioli on top and then put the rest of the sauce on top of that. We had a little bit of shredded cheese left over so I just added that and then we had some provolone slices left over so I added that on top of it. For a side with this, we did the garlic bread from the Walmart deli, which we actually both thought was fantastic. My husband really liked this meal and also my picky two-year-old ate it. So that was surprising, but look how good that cheese looks. It was really yummy.